Now for this last part, we've just got to work out now the distance between P and Q when P is due west of Q. In other words, you've just got to find that distance across there. And to do that, what I'd want to do is find out where P was and where Q was at that time, which we found out in the previous part was when T equaled one and a quarter hours, five over four, say, hours. So let's just work out what P is, the position vector of P and the position vector of Q. So when T equals five upon four, we've got that P equals two I minus eight J plus five over four then multiplied by minus 4i plus 8j. And what does that give us? So if we work this out, for the i component we got 2 plus 5 upon 4 times minus 4. That gives us minus 3i. And for the j component we just need to do minus 8 plus 5 upon 4 times plus 8. And that comes out to be plus 2, 2 in the j direction. So you can see that P is three units to the left here and two units up. And when T equals five upon four, what do we get for Q? Well, again, if we just substitute our values in here, we've got, let's just put it in the bottom one here. We've got 18I then plus 12J plus five upon four multiplied by minus 6 minus 8j minus 6i minus 8j and if you work that one out for the i components 18 plus 5 upon 4 times minus 6 we end up with 10.5 10.5i and for the j components we've got this value here 12 and then plus 5 upon 4 times minus 8 that comes out to be 2, plus 2 in the j direction. And as expected, we would expect the same j components, okay, because it's the same distance up when p is due west from q, but we are 10.5 units to the right. So we can wind this up by saying, therefore, the distance, okay, we'll put dist, uh, between p and Q is just going to be equal to, well, well we've got three units to the left here and we've got ten and a half units to the right so it's just going to be three plus ten and a half, three plus ten point five and that's going to equal thirteen point five, thirteen point five then kilometers. Alright so I uh, hope it's given you some idea now on this vectors question.